Lala, Anthony Murethi, and Colin Gocheng to look forward to. While Gormaya have Shaban Kenga, Daniel Onyango, Jared Bog, and the exciting George Blackberry Odiambo sitting on the bench. Your center referee this afternoon is Anthony Aguayo, a professional photographer, assisted by Caroline Keelers, Peter Kirani, and fourth official Moses Osano, with your match commissioner, Mount Kenya based Gladys Waweru, who is the match commissioner. Robert Matano, the self proclaimed lion, together with his assistant Benjamin Yangweso, two winning coaches of this league. Yangweso led Ulinzi to the championship in 2010, while Matano has won the league with Sofa Baka with Tasca, and he knows that the Tasca head with Ulinzi is big enough. But uh, Bobby Williamson, in his uh, complete first season, led Gorma here to the title last year. And he will be looking to break the unwanted record that Gorma here have of never having won a league game against Ulinzi at the Afra Stadium. And on the other hand, he will be looking to upstage his opponent, Robert Matano, here at home for the first time. Ulinzi chasing their maiden win. Well, it will be a task for them uh, this afternoon. No chance for a shot and it's a goal! Well, 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 from the acutest of angles, Lindsay are able to find the net. There was confusion in that Burma here defense and the fans here in the red jerseys already celebrating on the 25th minute as the team take the lead and the dance that usually follows the goal this time. As complicated, but uh, uh, just shaking the waist. But <laughs> it is Erika Poole who has found the back of the net for Olenzi, his first goal of the season. And, uh, this is a uh, good fortune for a man recalled into the team by coach Robert Matano. So Robert Erika Poole straight from that long throw. Well, it was a goal, Mark Melee, while we were trying to get in there and Erico put on very tight angle for sure and uh, look at uh, where Erica Paul has got from uh, the goalkeeper Juma was covering that area and uh, for sure <laughs> Juma will be asked a lot of questions by Bobby Williamson because he's covered the near post and the ball just goes through the same place so the first goal uh, for Erica Paul and the first goal for David Juma to concede in the task of Premier League but this dance was not well rehearsed for sure. <laughs> Fortunate for them, they don't get points. And then look at the living Scotsman. I mean, uh, he knows there was a gap there. And the score currently is Olympic the Stars 1, Gorma here in there. Well, the Afra Stadium has come to life and it was only a matter of time, Jacob, before a goal at home because the pressure that uh, Lindsay had put on that goal, goal mark, well, the defence had to crumble. And this brings into question, is Gorma here having a goalkeeper? Well, I think uh, that goal that has been considered there from that near post is a big blame for on David Juma because he actually covered that. And uh, I think also Eric Poole is surprised that uh, he was able to score from a very tight angle. Well, character will determine how the champions come back into this game. Well, it's just not able to control that slippery ball. There is a slight drizzle here at the Afraha Stadium in Nakuru County. We are in the Rift Valley, which is the off the world-famous Lake Nakuru National Park. Uh, this is a game that has seen many a titanic battle between these two teams. So the former champions, Olinzi, leading the current champions 1-0. A goal courtesy midfielder, Eric Poole. A man whose fortunes certainly have revived since the arrival of Robert the Lion. And uh, what, what a way to repay the coach's faith by scoring and more so in a big game like this one. And uh, he has not disappointed in that midfield. Actually, he looks like the man who has controlled the midfield uh, for the Olinzi side as far as defense is concerned. And he's, Featured again is Eriko Chiang in that battle and Baba Kizito, but uh, I tell you what, Erika Paul has come uh, up uh, clearly the better of uh, the, the, the three, I would, I would call it. 
Uh, the game is starting to take a physical turn as Waruru just dropped down and the referee mentioned it while we want to have a word with the ball Mahir player. This may be the first card of the game. Yes, it is Musa Mohammed who receives the first yellow of the game. Maybe a bit of a sign of desperation. Musa Mohammed just back from trials in South Africa. And uh, finds that uh, the goal is not as easy as the professional goal of time. So pressure once again on that goal, Mahir. Goal! Oh, and it just goes above the crossbar. And, uh, as the rain continues to tumble here, Jacob, the game dynamics will certainly change. Well, directly, uh, but uh, the good thing is that the pitch looks like it can soak a lot of rain here. So it wouldn't affect, but uh, for sure, what will be affected is the speed of the ball and most of the keepers need to be uh, extra careful. So go Mahir, looking for that fight back. Just hunting out in defense there for Odinzi. This will be an Odinzi throw. 1 0, they lead the soldiers. The German army leading the People's Army's team. Uh, Geoffrey Wallace Simbi. Uh, the last time that uh, Gormaia were here, attention did favor them. But this uh, Afar Stadium is turning out to be a good ground for them so far in the year 2014. But it's this little Odinzi. Dominating the play in the middle of the park. The white shirts just looking to threaten. And uh, anything goes. Uh, and, uh, goalkeeper David Jimmy will come to focus more and more with half an hour of football play in this Tusker Premier League matchup on the Champions. Well, I'll tell you clearly with half an hour, Francis Cheng, the goalkeeper on uh, Budinzi side, has been. Uh, more or less a spectator in this one because uh, we have not had uh, so many balls coming to his side. That means that uh, Ulinzi has been able to uh, defend clearly well and uh, Gomaya has not really been able to penetrate. That's an uh, impressive performance in the center of defense by Joffrey Kokoyo and James Mulinga so far. And the one may tend to sympathize with uh, Danny Serekuna because uh, the high balls being sent towards him, he just is out of reach well actually Serukuma has not played uh, in uh, this game i've not seen him make a pass and uh, it's just because he has not also received any meaningful uh, feed from his midfielders well, Lindsay, still dominating the game so far they do have a one goal lead and scorer so far. This play is part of the uh, Joffrey Walusimbi looks to start a move at the back. The Serukuma just skips. Gets losing possession. But it is now Olinzi Waruru. Lays it left to Kifuto Oliver. Can he get the cross? He does. And a chance by Mogiri. Oh! And Waruru not able to connect. <laughs> Beautiful move by Olinzi. That goal right here, defense certainly being stretched. Well, a good cross from nice start to ball. Now he has a chance. Plays it into the center. Ducky for Rama, but oh, the equalizer, Rama Salim. Excellent combination between the Rama and the Serukuma. And Rama Salim, Rama Salim scores the equalizing goal and his second goal of the season to give the Green Army joy here at the Accra Stadium. And what a super goal it was. That ball caught Francis Chin quite in a way. And Eric Chen now forcing a corner of uh, Eric Apul. Romania will have another set piece to try and now claim the lead. Francis Chen uh, has been tilted for the better part of the 41 minutes, but suddenly finds himself getting a goal. And now called more into action. A strong header of oh, Jeff. And it's a second goal for Gold Mahia and Bobby Williamson is elated. The Green Army fans are in wow, heaven because it is a defender. David O'Winner brings that goal that has brought humiliation.
decisions and one becomes the captain of the day and look at the match there <laughs> imitating the soldiers David the winner is the scorer gets his second goal of the season it's a fairy tale for David Owino back from injury and two goals so far in the league and this man is a gem in that goal by your side well, the corner taken by Mutiso Innocentia come on the first header and then David Owino on that rebound. But uh, what a comeback here by Goma here, putting men in attack. And uh, David Owino, the Kenyan international, scores his second one. But uh, Shakaba is the one who made the, the first effort here. And uh, the big question Matano will be asking where was his defensive, who means the defense for sure. And then uh, you can see there were more green shirts in the penalty area. And you can see two Bobbies, Bobby hugging Bobby. Yet another win of a Western steamer and Sofa Paka leading Tasca, the table toppers, 2 0. So Francis Kimanzi's team uh, having a hard time in Machakos as uh, Sam Timbe looking to get the better of him this afternoon. Well, very interesting result there from Machakos, and uh, that will be good news for Goma here if they win this one because they will just be, uh, they will push to a point behind Tasca and uh, having played the same number of games. So that will be adding pressure on Tasca. And uh, good news for the defending champions, Gormaya. Well, uh, the team that nobody expected, Moroni, Jacob, just uh, getting another win, 1-0 over Western Stima. Certainly something is happening somewhere in Awasi, and we don't know. Well, I will tell you, it's only me who expected them to win. Uh, if there was nobody you were thinking on, of. On, only you? <laughs> <laughs> Well, after they took uh, Francis Barraza uh, as the new coach, it to be sensible. Play it uh, easy, play it, uh, keep your passes close, long balls where necessary. But we don't have yet to make any changes, so satisfied with the way the team is controlling. As I told you, Jacob, maybe we're the reminding him of hope. <laughs> <laughs> so he's completely uh, forgotten. The only thing he forgot is the raincoat. <laughs> <laughs> because at one time it looked so sunny here in Nakuru, but the weather has uh, played games here. We don't have to one lead by Goma here. All well, the clearance coming in from Ruto. Crosses it into the box. Shakava's strong header and the shot at goal. A chance there. Oh, wow! What a miss! That is the miss of the day because he doesn't have the first grasp of the ball, but uh, recovers in good time to have it covered. As uh, Ulizi now just tried to pile uh, pressure by playing power play. Well. Uh, other results coming in, it's uh, Sony Sugar 1-1 against the United. Ronnie having won against Western Stima. So for Parker, just adding another nail into Francis Kimans' coffin for the day. 4-2 against Tasker. What an interesting day in terms of the Tasker game. Full entertainment in Machakos, six goals in total. And uh, money's worth for any spectator who has been in that uh, game for sure. Six goals. Well, it is uh, one on the corner to Lindsay Collins. The chain of the piano forcing his way to the byline. Kizito 
complaining that uh, he didn't have the last touch. And uh, Andrew Juma who does need to reorganize his defense. But they don't consider last minute equalizer. And the defense by Gorma here at the moment. And it will be a free kick in favor of Gorma here. A bit of uh, unsportsman like conduct. Get up. Mm -hmm. Off the ball incident. Mm -hmm. I feel blows for a free kick in favor of Gorma here. Bobby Williams wants to close off the ball close to him, I think. Such brilliant performance from the boys. Yeah, they, they worked very hard, they fought hard, and uh, thankfully they got the three points. I'm not so sure at this time of the season we should you be using the words vital and critical, but you guys seem to always use it. <laughs> it's a vital point because oh, you cut the, they cut the lead, of course, I'll point it out, you cut the lead for the top. Now, with Tusker, by the way, having lost their game, their first loss of the season, you climb up to second and very close to Tusker. But what won it? What, what tactical application won it for you today? It was just any hard work, especially second half when the rain started. First half, we showed a lot of integrity and effort. And we got, we went a goal down, and then we come back and we're leading 2-1 at half time. That was very important. The first goal is always important in this league. We conceded it, but we showed great mentality to get back into the game and, and go ahead. But the second half was a joke. You couldn't pass the ball in this pitch, unfortunately. It was OK for so, such a long time. And then the last 10, 15 minutes, it really deteriorated. But, uh, our guys uh, had to dig deep, and they did, and I'm glad for that. And there will be a lot of people happy with the combination of Rama Salim and Dancer and Kuma once again becoming quite effective. Great performance from your front boys. Yeah, we've we'll waited a while now for those two to get it together again. I think they must have fallen out of each other when they separated. But they're back together again, and they're linking up, and they're scoring goals, and that's most important. Absolutely. Congratulations on that performance. Bobby Williamson pointing it out rightly so that that marriage between Bob uh, Rama Salim and Dancer and Kuma was sensational and it is coming back in life and that could be very instrumental for Gore Mahia. As for Lindsay Stars, coach, your thoughts on the game? Uh, we lost the match, but we tried to fight hard second half. Uh, we consider a goal, easy goal second half, first half because of lack of concentration. And that's what cost us. Indeed. Brilliant tactical performance from you and your boys early on in the first half, not giving them free space in the middle field, forcing them to go wide. Then it's something changed in the game. That's why went, it went wrong. Somebody, somewhere in the middle field went wrong. We went uh, down, we could not mark, we could not come to the shape. That's the lack of concentration in the middle field. And the uh, play lose marking and it cost us. It did, indeed. But you will be happy, well, some parts of the game with the back four. It looks like they're slowly gelling, slowly coming together, apart from the two goals. Yeah, because um, I'm working so hard to make this team to be a team. Because I got the team, it's, the, it's not as one team. They divide the team and also lack of cohesion. They do work as a team. So we are trying to build that one. Also, they try to do some tactical organization on the team. It was lacking. So we are coming up so well, and I hope that... Uh, when we come up in the mid-season, we can do some few changes in the team. But so far, work with what I have. Indeed. And final thoughts here, coach. A win against Western Steamer, then this loss. What do you tell your boys? Yeah, they, today they tried. The Gorma is in top form and also they're on top. And uh, we're coming up so well. well. We'll win matches. This is not the end of the road. So the time... And we have started the league on my side. I can count. I lost one match and I lost to a big team, but you will rectify mistakes. And we'll match it, many matches. Indeed, Coach Al. All the best in the remaining matches. Of course, pointing out that this is just the beginning.